Well, my, my philosophy of restoration is to paraphrase uh, Aldo Leopold is to do restoration that is benefits nature, but also benefits man. We're at the Mississippian Harbor. We're standing on the deck at the DuPont Nature Center, and we're looking at Back Beach, which is a newly restored beach that Fish and Wildlife has uh, been working on the past uh, fall winter. To date, we've completed um, about 90% of the project. We brought in over 30,000 cubic yards of sand. We've brought in over 20,000 tons of, of stone. Uh, we've restored over 1,700 linear feet of, of rock wall. We've installed three groins to lock in the sand that we've placed and protect it from hurricane storms and nor'easters. We've actually had several nor'easters happen and, and, and it seems to be withstanding the storms. And then the only portion that we have left is this a small portion within, in front of the, the nature center itself. About two months of work is left. The stone is to protect the sand from storms and, uh, and wave actions, but horseshoe crabs don't breed on stone. So we brought in sand to establish a new beach that's, that is for horseshoe crabs and red knots and other shorebirds. And the horseshoe crabs, basically, they come to this beach, they spawn, and then the horseshoe crab eggs themselves get, get eaten by various shorebirds, specifically red knot, which is a threatened species. And this beach itself, used to be uh, kind of what, what you see now. We've tried to replicate that, but on the, the, the left side of your screen is Back Beach. That's what we call Back Beach, and that was the only habitat that was here. And within Back Beach was the largest concentration of horseshoe crabs spawning within Delaware Bay. And now we've more than tripled uh, the amount of uh, sand that's out here for these, these, these wonderful animals. The north terminal groin is what will, when people come out here, they'll see a, at the north end of the wall, the wall makes a dog leg that goes through a dune and then it, it abuts a wetland. And that north terminal groin is to protect the beach from nor'easters. So back before we started this project, there was a large um, breach that, that happened. And daily there was tides going in and out and the beach was eroding. And this north terminal growing now is the is basically a wall that when waves come, it'll hit that wall and it'll protect the beach that's on the south side of that wall. If we hadn't installed that, we had a nor'easter that was that occurred in January of this year. It was a 50 mile an hour east winds, northeast winds. And if we didn't have that north terminal growing in, we think that back beach would have been lost because that storm was so significant. So Swain's Beach is a property we've acquired several years ago. It was essentially a dump site where lots of concrete was, was placed along the shoreline. Uh, there used to be a nice beach there and it's since then it was all gone. It was just a bunch of tires, a bunch of concrete, and we removed the concrete. We removed three truckloads of tires. We've installed um, several hundred cubic yards of sand. We've done some beach grass planting and uh, we're anticipating horseshoe crabs to respond to the newly restored beach and then also provide habitat for horseshoe crabs, uh, red knots, other shorebirds. So we ended up having to stop our restoration due to time of year restrictions, April 15th. Uh, there's a horseshoe crab time of year restriction and also migratory shorebird time of year restrictions. And those are lifted for our project basically in August. So we're anticipating coming back in August and spending about two months. We only we have 10,000 more yards of sand to, to place. We have two groins to finish and a small section of the stone wall is this has to be capped. Uh, to elevation six, which is the which is the hurricane sandy level event storm resiliency for this project.